Imperial is a world-leading science research institution. Our research helps us understand acute emergency scenarios. What we have here is a wildfire demo. What we have is two fuels, one is dry, the other one is wet. I'm going to ignite the two of them and you're going to see which one is faster. This is the one that is dry represents the conditions in California now and when it's wet will be representing the conditions in California when it has just rain or when it's the cold season. And you would see that the dry one is much faster than the wet one. Uh, when fires are this fast and they are much faster than normal, it creates problems that are very difficult to suppress. They actually make emergencies uh, being very urgent, uh, whereas when they are slow, they are much easier to suppress and there's much more time to respond to the emergency. The wildfires in LA are not over yet. They're almost over. We're talking about almost 95%, 98% contained, but not fully finished. And also, um, there is still a significant amount of smoldering happening in the structures that burn. This is concerning for people, but also for the environment, uh, because the smoldering gases are incomplete, so they are toxic, but also the materials that are burning are household materials, are, are unusual materials to burn. We're talking about polymers, batteries, electronics, household uh, products, synthetics. Um, so the smoke is even higher toxicity. The impact of incoming weather in LA is something that needs to be looked carefully because the Santa Ana winds might come back and we will, might be having fires again in California, hopefully not. So the LA has now an opportunity to build back better. But the question that we all have as scientists is, can this happen again? And if it happens, how can we foresee it?